Yeah. But tell me if I had some. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Okay, good. After the video. <laughs> yeah, after we tweeted it out. Okay. <laughs> the uh, past weekend, what was it? I think like 12 or 13 extra points got missed all around the league, and Randy had one of them. But any, I think it's been lower this this year, like uh, success rate. Any theories on? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of injuries, too, with kickers. Um, so it's new guys, but it's, you know, it's just maybe one of those things. And probably, you know, in the next week or two, they could skyrocket again. So, you know, I just think it was just one of those weeks where where guys end up uh, just missing it like Randy did to the right. or uh, So, I mean, it's just the ebb and flow. It's going to happen. So I, I wouldn't really consider it anything major. It's not something that gets your attention to the point that you say, hey, let's sit down and talk about this and, and review what we're doing in any way? Oh, for sure. I mean, obviously we'll talk with Randy, but we're really not concerned what other people are doing as far as their kicking and stuff, unless it's the opponent. Uh, but, yeah, we, we sat down and talked to Randy right afterwards, right when Randy came into my office on Monday. We started talking about the missed extra point. So uh, it's just one of those things where, you know, we just got to sit there and focus in, even though it's at the end of the game. And whether we're winning convincingly or not, we got to go out there and do our job and make those kicks. You feel like Johnny's kind of getting into a little bit more of a groove or settling in the more he punts. And I guess with Brett on the COVID list, I mean, it help him knowing, hey, I'm the guy at least for, for a little bit longer? Oh, for sure. You know, him going out there and obviously practicing is going to continue to help him out and having guys rush against him. Uh, the more he kicks, the more he's going to feel comfortable. And, you know, we're looking for him to continue to improve this week too. I think we talked to you Thursday and then we saw, the, I guess, the double punt, I guess, yeah. on Thursday night. Uh, <clears throat> have you ever seen that before? I mean, obviously that's not something you can practice, but what kind of conversations do you have with with punters in that and, in those situations. Yeah, it's, it's funny because two weeks prior to that, uh, Coach Vrabel came into my office and we talked about a double punt. And uh, it was one of the things that he was talking with the officials about. Uh, and we discussed some of the things that were happening. And even if, I mean, this was when Brett was obviously punting for us and we talked to Brett, if that were ever to happen, if something, you know, a block or if he muffed it uh, and he was trying to go up and pick up the first down, that if he knew he wasn't going to get it just to punt the ball anyways like because it's not any good if he gets tackled short of the first down where now they get the ball there or we punt it now there would be a penalty because he crossed the line of scrimmage that's okay we'll live another day and we'll go back and punt the ball so you know it was one of the things that we discussed luckily enough two weeks prior to that so the guys had some kind of clue before that ended up happening but it was funny that Brable had brought that up a couple of weeks ago before it happened is he generally uh, pretty good, Mike? Generally pretty good about uh, you know wanting to explore every nuance of the of the rules. Oh, kind of sure. Thing? Yeah, I mean, I think that's part of our jobs as coaches, um, and and obviously Mike is uh, in tune with every aspect, offense, defense, and special teams. Uh, so you know he'll come in there and, and throw ideas out all the time at us, and we'll do the same thing with him. But uh, you know that's always good that uh, Coach Vrabel is heavily involved in everything, and, and we enjoy that as special teams coaches because the players understand how important it is. And when Coach Vrabel brings up an idea or a rule and things like that, they understand how important it is um, to him. What kind of factors go into deciding? whether you want to touch back or whether you want to make the other team return a kickoff? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, there, there's a few things about that. You know, obviously you're going to look at who their returner is. You know, if it's a dangerous guy like Jamal Agnew, um, you know, or even uh, McKenzie, the guy here with Buffalo, you're going to look into a bunch of different factors. Can this guy bring it out five, six, seven deep? Do we want him to bring it out because he is so dangerous? Um, or do we want to try to gain some type of field position, um, tackling guys inside the 20-yard line to help our defense, create some momentum, things like that? So there's a bunch of different factors that we look at each week uh, when we play a different opponent. Having him catch it like outside the end zone gives you a better chance to tackle maybe because he doesn't get up as much ahead of speed? Or? Yeah, I mean, uh, there, there's certain things that we look at. You know, if we want to hit it deep into the end zone and we know a guy's going to bring it out, that's great because that gives us more time to go down there and cover it. Or do we bloop it up, 
get it to the five, six, seven, eight, nine yard line, things like that, where now it kind of helps us out because the guys in the front line that are blocking on kickoff return, their depth can change of where they block people. And if they still go and get their depth, now the returner gets really close to those guys that are blocking. So it changes. Um, and that's just something that we look at every single week. And, you know, win also has a factor in that too. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's always interesting. We, we try to find different ways to create momentum or to keep momentum, if you want to say, after we score a touchdown and kick off to try to tackle guys inside the 20. We are a return team on kickoff, but there's so many – touchbacks that are accumulated for your guys. Yeah. Does it get frustrating? Oh, extremely frustrating. You know, and, and right now, obviously, stat-wise, for us, we're, we're not very good on kickoff return. And our guys are itching, you know, to go out there and try to prove themselves a little bit more. And same thing with us coaches. We, we want to get an opportunity to go out there and uh, try to improve on something that we feel like uh, we haven't been doing very well. So I know the last two weeks the guys have wanting to go out there and return some, but we're going to be smart about things, and um, we've got to make sure that we take advantage of any opportunity that happens for us, whether it's a short kick or a low kick that doesn't have any hang time. We want to try to take advantage of it. So um, it's just one of those things that happen, but uh, we're not going to be reckless and take one eight nine deep out of the end zone yeah, do you find yourself like having to tell them hey let's make sure that i know you want to get out there and do it but let's make sure that you know, yeah we don't too deep. yeah we do but uh it, it's good for us to have a guy who wants to go out and return things you know we don't want a guy that's going to go out there and play scared and you know take a knee you know when it's one deep in the end zone we want a guy who wants to be aggressive but we also got to remind him Listen, this is a game of field position, and we've got to be smart in everything that we do. You said, you said stat-wise, you're not very good at it. Is, is there another way in which you think you are good at it? Uh, I mean, I would like to say we don't look at stats, but, you know, it was just one of those things that hurt. What else are you trying to accomplish? Well, it's field position. It is, it is truly field position. And if we, uh, you know, do return one, or if it's kicked deep into the end zone, like three or four yards deep, we've got to weigh in is, okay, is it good to take a touchback where we get to the 25-yard line? Or do we have a chance to get it obviously past the 25-yard line? Um, so that's some of the things that we look at all the time as far as stats are concerned. Is it the starting field position, which is what we're worried about, or is it kickoff return average? Um, so that's where we just got to mix and blend and see what's going on, what we want to do um, as far as getting our team in the best position to, to score points. But if you're returning it, the only way to judge it is based on how many yards you get. Yeah, but field position. You could take out a ball nine deep in the end zone. All right, this is where I think kickoff return is a little bit average, is a little bit skewed. You can take one out nine deep and get to the 20 yard line, and it's a 29 return average. Well, does that do any good for field position? No, because you're, at, you're actually losing five yards of field position. So we don't want to get caught up in the stat-wise as, as far as that concerned, but if we're not doing very good on kickoff return, we're always looking to see if we could get the ball past the 25-yard line. Bill's week, obviously. Is, did you remember watching the New York City Miracle uh, oh. as a kid? What, 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 what were your kind of Well, Jim, about? here's what's crazy about this is I get reminded it almost about it every day because Kevin Dyson coaches my youngest son in football. So it, it's always interesting talking to Kevin about that. And, uh, you know, it, I feel blessed that he's coaching my son. Uh, right now, along with a couple other coaches on our staff, it, he's uh, the head football coach. Um, for our younger kids, but yeah, I mean we go back and look at that all the time and what an unbelievable play how it was drawn up uh, You know, it was just it was awesome the way it happened for the city uh, The franchise and things like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm basically reminded about it every day You uh, so you got that play in the playbook, uh, I guess for oh. your son's team? <laughs> You know what? I got to ask Kevin about that. So uh, I don't know. They're only 10 years old. I don't know if they could actually pull that one off. Uh, I think they're more worried about catching the ball and just trying to run upfield with that.